For a lot of us platinum trophy hunters, time is a big factor in choosing which platinums we try to obtain. Some of us have to go to work, school, college or just don't have the time that we wished we had. Some of us have partners or children which will obviously take priority when it comes to how we spend our free time. I won't be including any games such as My Name is Mayo or visual novels that can be completed within an hour or with minimal effort. I'll also be steering clear of any telltale games which while they are easy and can be done in under 10 hours arguably don't require any actual gameplay. So jumping straight in, Devil May Cry 5. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Spyro the Dragon Reignited Trilogy Spyro originally came out in 1998 on the original PlayStation, but thanks to the Reignited Trilogy has been remastered making all three games available to play on current consoles. The remaster captures everything from the original games and manages to keep the fun factor which makes Spyro a great starting point for anybody that is looking to start platinum hunting. With the Reunited Trilogy now being out for a couple of years, it's a pretty cheap pickup these days, and because each entry has its own individual platinum, you're basically getting three for the price of one. Spyro the Dragon comes in with a difficulty of 2 out of 10, and then an estimated playtime of 7 hours, whereas Ripto's Rage and Year of the Dragon both come in with a difficulty of 3 out of 10, an estimated playtime of 8 hours, meaning all three could be completed in a single day, but I really, really wouldn't recommend that. Next up is Guilt, which is a survival horror game that was originally released as a Stadia exclusive and kind of just flew under the radar for most people. Once it was announced to be released in July of 2023, multi-platform, it then caught more attention, including my own, and I'm very thankful that it did. Despite it being such a short game, to me at least, it's a masterpiece. Changing between using stealth, an Alan Wake style of combat to traverse through the world while also trying to find out what happened to your missing cousin, with a few jump scares here and there, a little bit of puzzle solving, and a small amount of collectibles to find, the Platinum Trophy could be yours. The Order 1886 is a third person action adventure game set in an alternate timeline that came out in 2015 and wasn't met with the greatest of reactions. Some people would say it was misunderstood, as it didn't know if it wanted to be a movie or a game. As time has passed, more and more people are starting to come out and say how the game is better than first thought. The moody atmosphere, detailed characters and incredible backdrops are amazing as you traverse through the 19th century London while blasting werewolves. Just the shame that the gunplay does feel a little bit clunky. I won't say that this game is good or bad, but it's certainly a game that fits the bill for an under 10 hours or less platinum, as it clocks in at a 3 out of 10 difficulty, an estimated 10 hours. Next up, Infamous First Light, which is standalone DLC to the absolute blast of a game, Infamous Second Son an action-adventure game set in an open-world environment. From a third-person perspective, you will have an array of abilities to use as you traverse the world, finding collectibles or destroying enemies. While the story is short and sweet, collectibles are few and always highlighted on the map. This game is given a 4 out of 10 difficulty because of the game's arena mode and kill challenges. Estimated plat time is 10 hours, but if you're a skilled gamer, you could easily shave an hour or two off of this time. The seventh game on the list is Little Nightmares 2, which is a puzzle platform horror adventure and just like its prequel, is a relatively short game to complete. However, the prequel does not have a platinum trophy, which is why only the sequel is on the list. Whereas Little Nightmares 1 was given a 5 out of 10 difficulty, Little Nightmares 2 is given a 4 out of 10 difficulty, with an estimated time to complete of 6 hours. The game received positive reviews, with even critics praising its graphics, atmosphere, gameplay and audio. In this 2.5D world, the player must rely on stealth and the environment to solve puzzles or evade larger enemies and progress through the game. Next up, we have Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice which is an action-adventure game set in a dark world inspired by Norse mythology. The game blends a mixture of gameplay mechanics such as puzzle-solving, psychological horror and melee combat 
as you traverse the world while aiming for your goal of reaching Helheim. The game, upon release back in 2017, was met with massive praise, with critics praising the game as a work of art. The only downside to Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, from a platinum hunting perspective, is the 44 collectibles, which are required for one of the trophies, and no ability to chapter select. With Hellblade coming in at a difficulty of 2 out of 10 and an estimated playtime of 8 hours, this should be a game that you can definitely add to your list. At number 9 is Deliver Us The Moon, which is a game that has been widely applauded for its amazing story and highlighted by many as an easy platinum. Marketed as a science fiction thriller set in an apocalyptic near future, you are tasked with averting humanity's fate due to Earth's dwindling resources. The game switches between first person and third person, depending on which tasks and interactions the player is doing. With no combat involved, and only basic puzzles, this is a relatively easy platform to obtain. PSN Profiles clocks deliver us the moon as a difficulty of 2 out of 10 and game time of 8 hours. While some of the miscellaneous trophies can be a tad tedious at times, the chapter select certainly comes in handy. And finally, we have Ending Extinction is Forever, which was released in July 2022 and is a game where the player takes control of a mother fox who must find, feed and protect her cubs in order to learn different skills that will help improve their chances of survival. Endling is a third person survival game set in a 3D side scrolling world. The game has reaped praise since its release, even bagging itself the Outstanding Game Special Class Award in the NAV GTR Rewards. PSM Profiles has Endling down as a 3 out of 10 difficulty and it should take you roughly 6 hours to platinum. Now for a few bonus entries. Cat Quest 1 and 2. Cat Quest is an open world action RPG set in a fantasy realm of cats. You'll be running around the world of feeling god, doing side missions and upgrading your equipment to make your poorsome little dude extra resilient while battling various enemies. In my opinion, the trophies are pretty standard and don't require too much grinding, and even though PSN Profiles has Cat Quest 1 coming in at a 12 hours, it's very doable within 8 to 9 hours total. Cat Quest 2 is pretty much the same, with a few quality of life additions and of course a brand new story to make your way through. So, within a single day, you could earn yourself both of these platinum trophies so you will feel like you're sitting on top of your litter box like a king. Bright Memory Infinite. Now I'm going to gush a little bit here because I thought this game was phenomenal, especially considering it was created by a solo developer in his spare time. Story-wise, it's not the greatest, but in terms of actual gameplay, it feels amazing. Firing every weapon felt great, Every slash of the sword was awesome, and some of the boss fights took it all to the next level. While the trophy list is pretty simple, there is the requirement to complete the game on the hardest difficulty, but thanks to the chapter select, you only need to do the last level to earn that specific trophy. PSN Profiles has Bright Memory Infinite coming in as a 3 out of 10 difficulty, and suggests 7 hours to obtain the Platinum Trophy. So. If you have a bit of spare pocket change, I'd really recommend it. Also, as a shameless plug, I've got my Platinum playthrough on my channel. So, do you think you'll be adding any of these games to your Platinum Trophy collection in the near future? Or do you already own the majority of them? Let me know down below, and if you liked the video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, as I'll almost definitely be doing a part 2 in the future amongst many other videos I have in the works. And of course, lastly, as always, thank you so much for watching.